Greetings everyone and welcome to my second video on Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Last one I went over the basics of the game in quite a lot of detail. Today I want to go over some of the more advanced features, starting with mods and character progression. I demonstrated gearing progression, but I want to also talk about leveling and mods. So here we have Talia. This is one of the earliest level characters you can get, but she was eclipsed until recently due to the lack of any real Night Sister synergy. Only in the last year, with the release of Night Sister Zombie and Mother Talzine, have the Night Sister faction really become useful. So, I've only recently started powering her up. So, for example, we have Omega abilities that still need to be done. She has three. I think her... I don't actually remember what her, um... Alright, so she does not have even an Omega on her leadership, but that doesn't matter. If I don't need her leadership, I'm not maxing it, and I'm not doing this either. What I'm gonna do right now is first level her up to 85. I think I have the mats to do that. I do. Okay. So, getting those last few levels in is extraordinarily expensive. Um, just double-checking. Yeah, okay. So I've got basically 4 million to go. I do have enough to get her up, and I probably can do Zombie or Talzay next. So, this is leveling her up. 85 is the maximum level. I believe they've got plans to eventually go up to 90, because let's face it, 85 is a weird number. Didn't like it when WoW was at 85. That was Cataclysm, the time when it all kind of fell apart. Alright, so, mods. This is probably the most complicated part of Galaxy of Heroes. In fact, I might have accidentally closed a video that was my... Uh, what do you call it? I had a video. Okay, too nope, big... not that one. Okay, so yeah, I accidentally turned the video into something else. Uh, here it is. God damn it. So, um, yeah, I had a video that had the list, and I had to go relook at Talia because I forgot what her mods are. All right, so she had two options. I'm gearing up my Night Sisters for the Sith Triumvirate raid, which means that the modding will be different than, say, a standard setup. So. Let's talk about mods, now that I've got my little list of mods that I want to go over. Over here are my mods. These are uh, varying levels and um, attributes, although at this point I've kept only my better ones. I recently did a mod purge with the cell option, and I'll actually show you guys a little bit of that right now. So, basically, any mod that has... Uh, let's use this 1D for an example. You'll see that it's got five dots above its icon. That's really important because that means it is a a, uh, a five-star mod. And all the mods you want to use, basically, if you have access to them, use five stars because everything else is garbage. In fact, I'll demonstrate that by selling everything that is hot garbage. So we're going to filter all our mods. So we're going to filter marks one through four which basically eliminates, or isolates my not five-star mods. Now, to be fair, this mod, or that 1A down below, would have been perfect. Except for the fact that it's not five-star. You can't take mods from four to five-star. Otherwise, that would have been a perfect mod, almost. Speed, as I've said before, is the most important primary stat you can get. It can only be gotten on the arrow mods, and then the speed sets are even more powerful. So, unfortunately, because I cannot take these to 5-star, I then cannot slice them to the more advanced stages. So, goodbye. And I only got a little bit of uh, credits from that, but... Yeah, so basically, I've been purging any mods that were... Four star, and then sometimes I will purge my um, my white or my white mod. So basically, these. How did this one not get sold? Any rarity? Okay, so it was a circle mod. Just 
make it easier to find and sell that one mod. Or where'd it go? Could have sworn there was. Okay, screw it. Yeah, so there is this mod. Well, no, no, no. Revert, revert. Okay. I'm just going to ignore that mod. Whatever. So, the mods. There are six slots. Each one does something different. They have names, technically. Um, can I see the names? So, this is a transmitter, a receiver, a processor, a hollow array, a data bus, and a multiplexer. So, some are actual computer technical parts, some are made up for the Star Wars universe. Point is, this is where you can really customize your character. This is where you can actually customize their stats beyond what the basics are. This is the most complicated part of the game. I've said it before. Now, normally, 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 this is where you would start with everything, and you would go to the filter, and you would simply click this, and it'll only give you the arrow mods with speed. I've only got four of them right now. Now, okay, I should rephrase. Only unassigned. If I click uncheck that, you'll see now I've got more of them. Um, some of these will probably be getting or will be taken away. And yes, some characters who I just have not used for a very long time will have the lower dots because of their speed stat. Again, these are just old characters I haven't paid much attention to, or in Hera's case, I haven't gotten a good replacement mod. And then these two are gear are six star mods. Those can only go on gear twelve or higher characters, so they will not be changed. All right, who had the well, right, Scion doesn't have a speed mod, because Scion doesn't need speed. Scion is better as just a meathead, so he doesn't have, but now uh, when these two go, when um, Thrawn and Nihilus both hit gold, which again, for Thrawn will probably be tomorrow, um, I will then upgrade his to, well, I'll need to farm the remaining mass, but he'll be the next one to get a six-star mod. But yeah, as you can see, various ones with speed improved, and it's usually considered the best thing to do to give them improved speed. But we're not doing this for once. We are not. I repeat, we are not. We are doing offense. Wait, is there just raw offense, or is it only percent offense? I know there's raw offense on other things, but... So this case, we want offense. We want offense, offense. Or we want crit chance. Unfortunately, we don't have either of those as an option, but that doesn't matter. Well, I mean, it matters, but it's not the worst situation. So what do we have? We have some defense, a couple potencies, a critical damage. So this is critical damage. Uh, critical chance looks like uh, times two. This is health defense, potency. This is a tricky stat, but it's very important. So our requirement is not to have any primary, but to be from the offensive tree. So I'll just go from left to right. Health, defense, crit damage, crit chance, tenacity, offense, potency, speed. So we want offense, just offense mods. I don't care what mod, but just offense mods. And then, if possible, we want to pick one that has an offensive secondary. So, down here you can see this one has the primary stat of plus 5.88% offense and has four secondary stats with numbers next to them. As the mod goes up in rank from white to green to blue to purple to gold, or to yellow to gold, it will add one rank to each uh, to one of the secondary stats each time it levels up, except for when it goes to gold, where it adds one to all of them. That is why those mods are so powerful, and it also that is also the only transition where the primary stat gets increased after you've reached level 15. Mods can go from level one to 15, uh, depending on the color of the mod. Oh man, these are actually some pretty good offense mods. Um, I'm going to not use this, because again, we don't want speed, we want offense. We want a primary and a secondary offense. So, this is a perfect example right now. So, I'm going to take it to level 6, and that should unlock two secondaries. Speed! Why is it the one time I don't want speed, I'm getting speed? But I am getting... Okay, so I've got crit chance, 
That's not a bad one. So if we take it to nine, we'll get the last one unlocked. It's every three. Potency. Okay. That's not bad. It's just not what we're looking for. Okay, so speed seems unavoidable at this point. Let's try this one because I only need to take this to six. The price of increasing a level does not change based on the color of the mod. It will always cost the same amount. If you take a mod from 1 to 15, it costs 248. However, the higher the color it starts with, the faster you can figure out what the three or what its four secondaries are. Come on, offense. Potency. Damn it. Double protection, too. This is a really good tanky offense mod. So this one might actually go on Scion later. Because he's... Um, I've been thinking about re-gearing him to be a bit more offensive-minded, because he actually does a lot of my kills. All right, so we got one more shot, guaranteed to have some speed. No way around it. Okay, crit chance isn't bad. Come on, offense. There we go! Offense. This will be our mod. All right, just going to take that to 15. Let's see where the bonus is. Why? Why speed? Why speed? I mean, cool, but why speed? Not now. This is not the time for speed. This is like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're gonna ignore that sp that uh s slice thing. All right, so our offense. Okay, click again to assign. Okay, so uh, these ones. We only got two options here. Now this one, you can already see what it's got. It's purely a defensive one, so you don't want that. This is speed. This is not what we're going for, but given our situation and the fact that I barely have any mod energy right now, I don't want to go out and um, I don't want to go farming for mods because I'm trying to get mods for Hermit Yoda. Hermit Yoda needs a speed plus speed mod. That one that I called perfect down at the bottom would have been good except for the fact that it's the wrong damn tier. So we got no real choice but to upgrade this one all the way because the other one like okay the speed is going to be more offensive than the defense so no matter what this will be better okay sweet we got offense twice this is good we will be assigning that mod all right let's check these ones so defense defense wait if i remember correctly um the diamonds always defense okay so this one already has this one already has uh what do you call it okay so i it's got two offense, so it's definitely going to be the one. Why? Why? why, why? Okay, you know what I'm going to do when I'm done with this is I'm going to just save a mod set, and because that's a thing, and I'm just going to, you know... Okay, well, no options on this. Crit damage isn't bad, actually. Um, okay, hold on, so... Let me, let's talk about set bonuses real quick. Mods of different types have set bonuses. If you can get two health, you get this, defense, etc. Offense is um, offense is a four set, so no matter what I do, two of them are not going to be viable. All right, so those are both health. Another defense, but that does have... Um, I'd rather just check this one real quick versus the... So, yeah. My lack of um, offense mods is... Okay. What the hell is going on? Because I never get speed on my secondaries. And yet every goddamn secondary I'm opening today is speed. I'm just... Okay, like I said, I'm going to make a set out of this, because I'm probably going to go and give all this to Ezra afterwards, and just take his set, because his set doesn't have nearly as much speed, and he's got offense and crit chance. <sighs> Please go into offense. No, of course it goes into speed. Oh my gods. Okay, there's our set bonus, though. So now I can do whatever I want with these. So... We want the crit damage mods, because I think crit damage is... No, we want crit chance, never mind. Filter, no, we want that one. Alright, so I don't have any triangles, which is a problem. Okay, health, we want to try and find anything that's... Okay, so we got to open these up a little bit. Okay, so six... Six is cheap. Alright, so that's not great. That's okay. Uh, 
All right, so we've got tenacity, defense, potency, defense, protection, potency, health, protection, defense. So who had the higher? This one's got the higher potency stat, so I'll take it to nine and just pray to God. Don't be speed. Okay, we got offense at the last second. It's all tenacity, though. But that'll be our one. And then I'm going to confirm this. So she just gained a thousand galactic power, which made Talia very powerful. So we just can't get a crit chance one for this. So we're going to go ahead and unfilter it. And I have no already leveled up ones. Okay. Hmm. Do I have potency? I have potency. I think these are always... I think circles are always health. Yeah, I think circles are always health. So the triangles are always off. Oh, that's offense. So while this was a decent one, I think I'm going to actually opt for potency instead. Cause, wait, no, does Talia... I gotta look at her abilities, because I'm not overly familiar with Talia. Do you have debuffs? Stag okay, so if I... Okay, so inflict a dot and... Okay, stagger and a dot. Uh, this is a heal and a dispel. And then this... Is, okay, so she doesn't have... Potency wouldn't do too much for her. I mean, it would mean Harrowing Assault would do its um, full damage better. Less chance of being resisted. I'm just thinking because those are purple mods. Like... Okay, that, that one's speed, but... You know, I've got a purple mod that's got crit chance. Um, sure, I've got another potency mod down here somewhere. I've got that one, but that's... Oh, I've got this one, which is potency again. It's like, I don't want to double up on that. I could always just do health mods, too. Like, I've got... Health mods are the one they give away for free during events, so I just get tons of these. So I could find one with offense on it, probably. In fact, yeah. So if I just filter it with an offense secondary... Or, uh, what do you call it? So a health mod, a health circle mod with an offense secondary. I've got four of them, Okay. 4.8, 5.6, 5.6, 5.1. Just because, again, we don't want to use speed, I would rather switch to that. It costs a small amount to change them out. And then, obviously, it won't be that. All right, and then I do... And then I have... Two that have offense. All right, so this one's the better. And then they're both health... Or This is a health primary, that's a defense... So we'll go ahead and assign that. We'll gain the health thing. We'll go ahead and bring this up to full. Don't care what the other two are. Potency and defense, it's not bad. And then bring you up. Bet you I get speed again. Health and defense. Okay, fine. So I can't really win. But we're going to confirm this, and it should be a net gain of a little bit. So overall, we just added... Um, 1,200-ish galactic power to Talia. And we've given her a full set of mods, and this is kind of going along the goals. So, again, normally it would be all about those speed mods. And, um, I'm gonna share a resource I use right now with people. Gaming-fans.com is the best website for finding out what mods you should get for Arena for... Um for your characters. Now, one of their rules of thumb is stack speed. Just stack speed because speed is insanely important. So that's like one very big rule of thumb. Stack speed. All right, so that's how you level up a character and how you do mods on a character. Now, I did have one more I wanted to do. Where are you, old Daka? Because... Uh, what do you call it? There you are. Old Daka. I also need to do mods on her. I need to also get some more credits so I can keep leveling her up. Now with Daka, the rules are very different. Daka is a healer, and again, we're building for a Sith Triumvirate Phase 4 Night Sister team. So we're not building for Arena, so we don't need speed. What we need are the health mods. All of them. It's going to be three sets of health, which means she will have a bonus of 30% health. And trust me, that's helpful. 
All right, so if I go to that video I had, it has a list of, um, I know you guys can't see it, but basically it's telling you just stack health. Like you just want health, health for days. So what do we do? The first thing we're gonna do is check for, okay, are we all, is this only offense? I can never remember. Yeah, okay, I think it's only offense. So we're gonna wanna filter these immediately, or. So yeah, any slot, the health thing, and we want health or health percent secondaries. Excuse you, what? No, I mean, it doesn't have to have both. It just has to have one or the other. All right, so we want percent health because DACA has a pretty high base health. So what do we got? Um, 1%, 9%, 1.8, 0.6, 1.85, 1. or 1.9, 1.4. So this has got the best scaling, because you can get a kind of random based amount, so we're going to assign these. I'm not going to upgrade them right now, just because I spent most of my credits already, and I do need to hold on to some in case I need to use them tomorrow. Again, with Thrawn coming up, you gotta you got to plan ahead a little bit. Thrawn, I don't remember if I saw him on the um, calendar or not, because I feel like I would have noticed. But usually they release a calendar of the upcoming major events, except for new announcements, during the first few, or the last week of the month. So, like, the, January will be the one time I don't expect the calendar until mid-January, just because of the holidays. Alright, so we do not want a speed one. We want something with defense. Okay, so protection is acceptable. So 0 0.58, 0 0.85, 1 1.4, 1 1.2... 1.7. Alright, so we're going to do this, and crit avoidance isn't a half bad thing. Now, it's got speed, which again, I'm trying to avoid, but I'll get over it. Alright, so this is to be the last one, so 1 1.4, 1 1.8. God damn it, speed again. Alright, now we're going to switch up our filter. So we're going to go to raw health instead of percent health. So you'll see we've still got some options. Now, this one's already been upgraded all the way, so we see it'll give us 258. And then this will give us 261, and that hasn't had a chance for a number, so we'll go with this one. And this one also gives us percent health, which obviously is better. Nope, not upgrade, assign. Alright, there's our second one. Alright, for these three, um, it's pr it's gonna be that one, even though um, it, this one off... Nope, nope, hey, hey, hey. We're doing this one because, again, it's got the health secondary. And then this one, we only got the one option. It's not great, so I will actually check for the other options. Do we have a any of these? All right, so we actually have what I feel will be a better overall mod. All right, and then without the upgrades, you only get nine. Again, those upgrades or having a higher starting color is very important. So DACA is now done. And if we scroll down here, because these are all my favorites right now. And if you'll look, the only one left is Talzane. So let me go to the guide. Talzane was the one where I wasn't sure I had what I needed. And again, I'm still not sure I have what I needed. So the main thing it wants is the cross and the arrow to have offense. So we are going to go ahead and search for these two and have offense as its thing. So we're in luck. The crit damage, which is the four set, does have offense. So what we're trying to do here basically is set up a crit damage and a crit chance. Two of these. So this is the only one where the guide is very specific on what should try and be in what spot. And it wants offense on the cross and the arrow. So here's the cross, which does not have one. Okay. So the other thing it wanted was to try and have the triangle be a crit damage. Crit damage. Alright, we don't have that either. Alright, so we only got this, and this is far enough away where I will take some time in the future to correct it, but I want to get the sets done, so... We're going to just now load the two sets. So, what do we got? We have a lot of crit chances, not a lot of crit damage. Now the thing is, we need the four crit damages, but we got to make sure that we have options for both in every in every slot first. Okay, options check. 
Uh, we can only do crit damage, which is fine, because that's the four. So what do we got? Defense and crit chance. Well, obviously we're going for that. All right, then what do we got? We have options here, and we own, we have options here. And we actually have some golds, so those will be under the heaviest consideration. So we have two of our four already. So let's go ahead and look at these two golds. So what do we got? Offense, potency, health, protection, defense, tenacity, health, offense, health, offense. All right, so this version of Talzane is all about the damage. Now, you want some really good crit chance. You want some really good special damage. I can't really check the stats right now because she's not high enough. Like, she's woefully low on her, um, what do you call it? Words. She's woefully low on her base stats, so I can't check versus the desired amount. But we're going to go ahead and... I think we're gonna okay well we'll look at the other ones like your potency and you've got no offensive stats okay and then versus you three health defense protection yeah so we're gonna go ahead and assign this tenacity one because this means I don't have to spend as much time slicing it so that means we are now all but done so now we're gonna look at this and let's see what our our times twoers have to offer offense with ch with crit chance so that's really good Offense with potency and health. Offense with offense. And okay, and offense with health. So I think offense with crit chance is going to be our one, and this will be one of our two. Now just to double check, we're missing offense and health. Offense and defense. Yeah, no. That's definitely the better option. All right, that one's got our most options, so let's go down here. We have this one as potentially our last one with... Uh, that's mostly defensive stats, but we will check. So offense and crit chance with a health mod. Protection, that's a full defensive mod, okay? And maybe. Let's check versus these ones. Defense, health, okay, so that's a full defense mod. That's a def, I think all of these are defense mods. So, yeah, not a whole lot. And I think I saw a crit chance, crit chance there, so... Yeah, you weren't great. Offense and crit chance. Yeah, so we're going to assign this one. And then our last one has to be one of these. So I think I saw crit chance on defense. So crit chance. Speed. We don't want speed. So this will be the last one with crit chance. So there we go. We've modded Talzane. Now Talzane is far from being useful. So kind of a rule of thumb that goes on in the community right now is a thing called um, Territory Wars, which is a guild thing, which is actually a update notification. Your update will go live at approximately 2.15 p.m. Please finish any battles. Okay. It's 2.30, it's 2.23 uh, Pacific time for me, so I might have to pause the video. Okay, let's, so this is the other complicated thing I want to talk about, guilds. I gotta say, I had three complicated things I wanted to do. Mods, guilds, ships. You know what? Ships might have to wait for next time. So, because guilds are, like, really important and kind of underrated. So, how do you join a guild? Well, the easiest way to join a guild is click guild search. Now, I believe nowadays, and I'm not actually going to join any of these. I like my guild. Um, nowadays, I think beginners do get placed in their own guilds. Uh, what do you call it? I'm trying to scroll up here. Like, I believe there are guilds that are just, like, auto-created. So I think that's a thing. And then you actually get to see some funny names. Like, Mammoth's not funny. Hondo's Schwifty Crew. If anyone watches Clone Wars and Rebels, you'll know who Hondo is. And he is one of my favorite side characters from those series. The Smuggler with the Real Heart of Gold. Take that, Han Solo. Knights of Sidonia, The Ex-Rogue, Despecialized Edition. See, it's like, I can appreciate things like that. I Hate You, Imperial Dog Seven Nines, The Vanguardian, Spring Trap, The Wild Hunt. You know, like, you get some cool stuff. My guild is Older Republic. And for the record, we had that name before um, the Old Republic tunes were even a thing. Like, HK-47's been there since the start, but... Otherwise, it's just like, you know, uh, what do you call it? It was just a fun joke. We are 47 of 50, although only about 30 of us are currently capable of participating in end-game events. 
Thorn is our leader. Here's our members. I'm down. I'm decently high up the roster. Now, I know it's sorted by raid tickets, but, like, okay, let's... Just for an example, and apologies, guys. I didn't warn you I was going to show this on video, because I didn't know I was going to show this on video. So, let's just... Um, Oh, I thought it used to have a guild power, or galactic power sword option. Well, let's do arena power, because that's usually a pretty good sword. So, yeah. Thorn is our leader. He is strong. Our officers are pretty strong, too. I'm somewhere up here, I think. Oh, come on. I ha Yeah, like, I have 102 power. That's moderate. Then again, it's about to get a nice big jump up tomorrow when Thrawn goes 7-star and gear 12. Like, that's going to be just a nice thing in general. Yeah, so... As you can see, we have some newer members. Like, we recently added a bunch because we were um, losing some people who went off to Sith Triumvirate raids. So, you join a guild through Guild Search. Um, you might automatically get stuck in one, but you never know. He, like, here's here's our guild power total. We are 98, which, if you divide by 47, means our... Hold on, where's my calculator? Uh, say 98 million yeah, and divided by 47 so on average we are a 2 million per person guild so obviously I'm a little lower than average but I have specialized teams there are some people who have a lot of guild power who just like they'll take everyone to level 85 even if they're like 3 stars like those people they're not that powerful despite their um, things so what is the point of a guild well, for starters, you get guild chat, and we were having a little bit of fun earlier between um, my recordings. Um, so this is a comment on the upcoming C-3PO event. As of recording, and this is still the fifth, because I'm doing kind of a big batch of recordings. And here's our message of the day, C-3PO incoming, 5 Ewoks required. So there's an event coming in, assuming it's legendary, because C-3PO is so not worth a hero's journey. But, yeah, so we're assuming it's a legendary event like Thrawn or Emperor Palpatine or Grandmaster Yoda where you'll need five Ewoks to get them to five stars. I, As of this recording, I don't know what 3PO's kit is, and I'm not big on Rebels to begin with. I have CLS. I'm good. So, yeah, like I said, without knowing his kit, I'm not touching those murder bears. And the nickname comes from the Endor event where the murder bears get stupidly powerful buffs that can one-shot Emperor Palpatine. And uh, BPS had something to say, and I had something better to say. So yeah, you get fun chat. You also get donation requests. I talked about this earlier with one of the quests that wants you to donate gear. Well, the problem is, as you can see, they want gear that is favorited by my guys. Now, there's an actual exchange center that shows more than just... Oh, wow, there are, really are just three. Okay, well... I need those, because that's what Thrawn needs, and that's the thing we just got 50 of earlier today, or earlier last episode, and then gave a piece of gear to Nihilus. So the exchange is nice, it allows for cooperation, and then there are guild events. So this is called a territory battle. This is a PvE event on a massive week-long scale. Yeah, there are two uh, currently. There is the Imperial Retaliation and the Rebel Assault. So it all takes place on the same map, and it depends on what side you start. So I've already done my first round on this today on mobile. Ah, oh, we were so close to getting our third star down there. So it comes with three territories, and each one has a series of battles. I kind of went all in on the um, these things because I can't win this. Like, I just can't win the special mission. This is the only way to get shards for Im the Imperial Probe Droid. But you need a really, really strong, um, you need a really strong Imperial Trooper squad, and I do not have that. I just don't. And, yeah, no. I mean, sh screw it. I'll show you guys. Here we go. We're going to battle. Mission unit. Veers is the required leader. Here's the guys. Despite the fact that two of them are at level 85, you'll see I'm going to get crushed. Utterly crushed. Despite the rest of this territory not being that difficult. Basically, as you go from territories 1 to 7, the required power and rarity changes. And we are in tier 3, which means this is where only 3 star characters, are, or 3 or 4 stars, are really needed. So, I've got a special ability only for this zone, which is that ATSD thing, and I will use it. And, 
Yeah, it did decent damage, but now watch what happens when my actual units start doing things. Yeah, there goes our tank. There goes our support. There goes our leader. There goes our, our um, AoE. Now we have our turn meter shredder, which is Magma Trooper, who used to be really useful for a raid. And now he's dead. So as you can see, I'm not ready for this event. Imperial Troopers is what I'm thinking I'll work on after Bounty Hunters. Like, my overall squad goal is Night Sisters, Bounty Hunters, Imperial Troopers. And I am kind of working on Bounty Hunters on the side just because they're very useful in the long run. So yeah, I did not earn... I did not earn this. In fact, I don't know if anyone's earned that yet. Has anyone managed to beat the... Um... Yeah, has anyone defeat uh, managed to win the special thing? Because normally, one person in our entire guild can beat it. And I'm hoping we'll get up to two this week, but... Again, a lot of... Oh, um, Sven has completed the special mission. Baxton has completed the special mission. Okay, so we've got at least two people... And Baxton got us the first star. Very nice. So we'll get at least four shards this time. Um, so right here we have the Ion Cannon, which is an ability the enemy gets. I already put ten characters in on this, so I can't help anymore. But the more you fill this bar up, the weaker the Ion Cannon gets. And that's going to affect all the space battles for the rest of the territory. Starting at Area 3 and going on, you do get these ones. And I did not realize, but I can, in fact, put some more in here. Who am I missing? Oh, that is, um, I think that is Poe's X-Wing. All right, so I can make a sacrifice of one TIE Fighter, or two TIE Fighters, and uh, Darth Maul's ship to help. Now, I do need to hold on to enough ships that I can actually do the territory battle. Okay, so, like, any light side ships are definitely safe to donate right now because um, this is a dark side territory battle. So, yeah, I can donate those. Um, I can donate the goat, or I can donate that. And it looks like I get to hold on to ghosts because you can only donate ten. So I did that, and that would be a buff for the rest of the zone. So it's rather nice if we can get to level three orbital bombardment. Now we have a special battle. Because I donated those three units, I don't get to use them in the battle. That's why you want to be careful. And it does require four star or higher. Okay, so it starts at two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're going to go ahead and use Tarkin because he's my stronger one. Any units you use here already uh, automatically get, um, what do you call it? automatically get deployed so you get the credit for them i didn't realize that for a little while and i was like oh i should save my higher things to deploy them no 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 it's safe it's safe so this is going to be a real quick ship battle i'm not really going to explain how this works i'm just going to wipe them out basically like this should be stupid easy yeah that's going to be stupid easy let me turn the speed up to my usual speed bye bye Now, for the record, this is not my usual team. Unlike Arena and um, Ar Arena and most battles, ships works best usually when you have a mix of dark and light side characters. Like normally, the synergy is just one or the other, but ships is the one where both sides tend to work best together. Now, obviously, there's better synergy if is this gonna register. Okay, there was a bit of a delay there. Um, Weird, I already uploaded part one. Right, the update. So, okay, it's going to require a restart now. So now it's going to update. Right, I probably should have paid attention to that before I did my battles. Well, now I can show you guys the loading screen. Don't worry, it doesn't have any personal login information. I always thought this was a really cool login screen. So, I would say, almost every character on here is now playable since we got Chewbacca. The only one we're missing from this entire appearance is the Y-Wing over on the right side. Because so we've got everything else. Because I would say, yeah, that's Vader's TIE Fighter. That's not a TIE Bomber. Starkiller Base is a map, not a playable thing. Believe me, if that was playable, we'd have a problem. So, yeah, this loading part can take a little while on the emulator. It's really, really fast on my um, phone. I will not log in on my phone because that will log me out on my desktop. 
God damn it, we're already 40 minutes. Oh yeah, see, big download. I believe this is either going to be the C-3PO event or it's going to be for the Grand Arena, which is coming up later. Uh, da -da -da -da, Rogue One Mega Bundle. Okay, not sure why that's there. I'm not going to do that. I've got mail. Oh, this might be what I've been waiting for. This might be the so-and-so's available for farm now. Oh, holiday gift. Okay, so... So these are um, ty or, um, new icons that we can get later. Anakin's ship is now available in fleet packs. Okay, whatever. Delete. Okay, yeah, that's what I freaking thought. We are, we were due for... Oh, ooh, oh shit, I might have to actually spend some points on Stormtrooper now. Okay, so Django Fett's been out for... I've been feeling like he's been late for his um, farm. Okay, Django Fett is a hard side farm. Nobody is surprised on that. IG-2000 is a ship that will be on hard si on light side hard... So these are both light sides, which is nice, because... I've been feeling like all the good ones have been on dark side for a while, which actually made getting my three light side battles in every day kind of tricky. Fango, Django will replace Stormtrooper, which is fine. He is still farmable from a different battle. Um, I, the ship is being tacked on. So basically when ships become farmable, they tend to get tacked on to... Uh, ooh, mm, tempting. Those tend to get tacked on. Oh, you know why? I think I, think I know why those are in here. Holy Sith Mega Bundle! Okay, sorry, these are those Mega Bundles. I thought we were talking about, um... These Mega Bundles. Yeah, no, these are the pay real money guaranteed rewards. So basically what this would be, this would be for any new player. Like, if you really wanted to spend some money but get established, this would save you a lot of time and difficulty, because these guys can't actually be accessed by low-level players. But yeah, you would basically get this, and you would be guaranteed to get, um, you'll be guaranteed that they'll each get to, uh, tier three. Three? Is three right? Yeah, three is right. So you guarantee each one for three. So they've got that for the Sith, which, these are actually really valuable. The Night Sisters and Rogue One. Because, um, they are each kind of valuable. So that's interesting. Yes, I know it's in there. I'm not spending $70. Spent way too much in the last month already. And we have a new quest. Don't let the Ewok size fool you. Complete dark side battles 3i. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and actually do this. Surprising events. Oh, Django. Oh, I would. You know what? Let me think. Night Sister Initiate. Let's go easy on it. I was gonna just overkill it to death, but you know what? We're gonna do. We're gonna make a squad now. Or did I already make a Night Sister squad? I already made my Night Sister squad good. So I don't have Talzin included just because she's so weak right now, but now I get to show off the power we gained for our characters. I don't have some before footage. God, I really should have just streamed today. I really should have just done a stream. So, Asajj is kind of OP. The others are a little weaker, but um, oh, that's gonna that's gonna be a problem. So here's Talia. I, okay, I'm not gonna lie. This is just we're gonna walk over this, and there's nothing I can really say except that maybe Asajj might have uh, what do you call it back again? So that little glitch you're seeing um, by the final thing is the Night Sister's bow. Zombie, eat Chewie. So I don't know if that's the new Chewbacca or the old one. I mean, it kind of looks like the old one. Okay, and game. So I don't know why they made a quest out of it, but they did. So that's the campaign mode. That's part of the dark side battles. A new player has to work their way through it. So, yeah, I got five Wicked Shards. Cool. I'm not going to promote him. Like, I literally, I, I would say, you saw, I'm sitting on, this must be to help people out who are missing stuff. I was going to say, I'm having enough time waiting on this, and then I am angry at this for existing. 
All right, I was trying to show off guild stuff, and then, then we got the update. So, back to the guilds. Um, so yeah, the territory battles are one part, and I need to finish up. So once you're done with everything in a piece of the territory, what you do then is you deploy your unused characters. So, as you can see, I earned some points. We're probably going to get two stars. Assuming people pay attention, just select all, because I'm done with everything. Deploy. And that just is how you get rid of everyone else. Now, I tend to not deploy until late at night for this part, because I don't know which part the guild's going to want us to deploy into. Alright, so that's that. And then the other big thing with guilds is raids. So, there are three raids in the game right now. The Pit, the Tank Takedown, and the Sith Triumvirate. I don't know why they're in this order. It came out Pit, Tank, Triumvirate, and that's the difficulty order. Nowadays, I could solo the Pit in, on Heroic, which is the hardest difficulty, if I felt like it. Just annihilate it, destroy it. I could do that easily. Tank Takedown still causes me some trouble, and then the Sith Raid is what we're on right now as far as difficulty goes. We do not do the Heroic one yet. We are on Tier 6 of 7. 7 is the Heroic. So we're not quite there. I've already done my runs for the day, so I can't really show you, but I, um, what I can show you is the rewards. So... Um, currently standing, this is what I would get. I would get guaranteed some mod upgrade stuff, uh, some guild event tokens, a lot of guild tokens, some money, and this gear box, which has a lot of nice things, although they only tend to drop by two. But you what, I would say what you want to do is do the heroic one, because the heroic one is the one where you get the bank. Um, and that also drops character shards. So a good example would be this, the heroic... Um, the Heroic ATT raid. So everyone gets six Kenobi shards except for numbers three through one who get a little bit more. I'm done with my Kenobi farm now, so... A typical rule the guild has is anyone who doesn't have the seven star um, tries not to post over a million GP. Problem is, it's usually those who have the seven stars who can post over a million points, so it doesn't really matter. But, like, for example... This is the gear you can get from that. As you can see, some pretty nice rare stuff is in here. As well as the uh, gold box. So you get two gold boxes, and now you can get a portrait. I think that's only for rank one, yeah. So that might be something we'll have to cycle around. Who knows? But those are the main things. High-end guilds right now farm the Sith Heroic Raid, because the Sith Heroic Raid... Enter detail... I, right, I can't look at it, basically. Like, even number one doesn't get a Treya shard right now. They do get they do get exclusive gear, but... Um, if I could show you the Heroic Sith Raid right now, it would be... Um, like, there would be Darth Treya. I'll just show the character. If I wanted to upgrade my arena team to the best I could be, I would want to get Treya. Like, just simple as that. Unlock Treya, victory. That's... just There's, no, there's nothing else to say. Darth Treya. We got 10 shards for her from the holidays, so... Or from the third year anniversary. But she, along with Sion and Nihilus, create the Sith Triumvirate, which is the whole raid. She kicks ass. She is the most powerful character from the things. Um, the other two were General Kenobi, as you saw, and then you get... Re um, regular old vanilla Han Solo is the, uh, the Rancor one. He's pretty good for Rebels. So... Yeah, um, there's one more event that's not really going on at the moment that guilds do called Territory Wars. The Grand Arena is like a miniature version of it, so I can try and use this to demonstrate. So, you would start off with a hell of a lot more arena spots, but each one would be size 5 squads. You deploy a squad on defense and you save some for offense, and then both teams go at each other to just kind of see who can do what. And you can have some pretty interesting fun. Now, Territory Wars has some bonuses for certain factions and characters. Uh, for November, they had a uh, Clone Wars special for the TV show, where certain um, Clone War era characters would get buffs. Um, I think the biggest one was <laughs> um, Mace Windu, if he could hit Jango Fett with his expose ability, would just instantly kill him, and he couldn't use his revive ability. So that's kind of crazy. Good, good. What's this? Guild chat, am I missing something? 
Okay, that's just someone else chatting. All right, so that does it for this. I will cover ships in a third video, but this is part two. Holy shit, 50 minutes. I'm sorry. I mean, we had the update happen mid this, and I got to add Django to my farm list now, but thank you all for watching. I hope you're enjoying this content. This game means a lot to me, and I really like to nerd out on Star Wars, so I'm excited that I can do something Star Wars-ish for my things. So until then... Thank you all for watching, have a nice day, and farewell.